of the book review Tuesday. We got it in the back. Spring. Okay, this book I started back in August. I finished it in November. And I can't recommend it enough. It's called The Idea Factory. It's by John Grinter. Grintner. Um, it's basically all about uh, Bell Labs. It's uh, the research that went on there and the in innovation that went on. Um, so it dives right in from the forming of it, how they acquired a bunch of good talent, essentially high school teachers pushing their excellent students to the top to pursue PhDs who then went on to be recruited by some Bell Labs execs and they went on to make some great discoveries such as the transistor, the solar panel, the laser, fiber optics, uh, you could say satellite communications. Um, I'm forgetting a few, but the transistor is huge. Let's see what else in my notes. Oh, the picture phone, aka FaceTime, but the timing wasn't right on that one. And then I'd like to actually put a thesis forward that they invented the Silicon Valley because the guy that created the transistor, Shockley, essentially not single-handedly, I'm just saying he's one of the main guys, he moved out to Stanford Paleanto area, tried to start a company, didn't work, but he formed a small thing with uh, Gordon Moore, who went on to make Intel, and you know, there you have the Silicon Valley. Great things happen in valleys. So, um, honestly, the information theory stuff with, with uh, Shannon Claude, amazing, very interesting. I didn't think I'd read the whole thing. It's like 350 pages and they're big, they're big pages. I didn't think I'd read the whole thing, but I just kept going every, every chance I could and I finished it. It was very entertaining, it was part one, part two. Um, let's, let's talk about some other things. Bill Baker, John Pierce, super interesting guy. Uh, very interesting and talk gives a good summary about him. It just goes into all these people. But really what I was interested in this book for was the uh, how it created so much innovation. Was it just the timing of that era and there was a lot to be discovered? Or was it the people and the environment? They uh, positioned engineers and researchers and uh, everyone right next to each other in the halls so they could talk. And now Google has, and a lot of other uh, Silicon Valley companies have positioned their work employees right next to each other. Same thing at SpaceX, they do this. So some good lessons learned there. Um, and then just a final point. Uh, oh, about how, how the big banks didn't lead this company to profits all the time. They are already making profits with their monopoly on the communications business. And now it's quarter to quarter, you gotta push profits where they didn't have that back then. So innovation, my, my theory is that innovation actually comes from lower salaries and people that care and have a passion for, for the technology. So you see this at Amazon and you see this at Tesla. Um, where you have lower salaries in the market. You also see it at Disneyland. Um, anyways, we're in the class too, so. Who's the sick? Thanks for watching. Great book, link down below, of course. Check it out if you want to learn about Bella. Hey.